hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video today's video we're going to be doing the third practice question for the ck exam 2025 so in the question we can see that we have an existing web app deployed in the kubernetes cluster using an ingress resource named web so we got the task here you gotta create a gateway api with the host name and that maintains the existing tls listener so basically we have a tls listener using a secret so that's what we're gonna bind and after that we're gonna create an http route named web route with the same hosting as the gateway api and this http route has to maintain the routing rules from the current ingress and as you can see here in the note we have a gateway class already created and the name is nginx class Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, let's verify that we have the listener, the TLS. So as you can see here, we got the seeker web TLS. Let's describe this to have more info. Okay, we got it here. No namespace, no labels and no annotations. Okay, so after that, we're going to check if we have the ingress, kubectl or get ingress. As you can see here, the name is web. So let's describe this. Okay, so we got more detailed information. This is the information that we have to put in the gateway API. Um, we have the path here and the service. So the server will be the backend, okay? So the name is web service. Let's verify this. And as you can see here, we got the service here. Okay, so let's clear this. And what we're gonna do now is create the gateway API. So to create the gateway API, I just recommend you to go to the template in the Kubernetes documentation page and copy the template. So we go to the Kubernetes documentation page, just type gateway and will be the first one that pops up. So this one, then we scroll down and we copy this template. So the gateway API defines an instance of traffic handling infrastructure, such as a cloud load balancer. Okay, so we paste the template here. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna change is the name. As the question says, is web gateway. Okay, web gateway. And after that, the gateway class. So as you can see, we have a Nginx class already installed in the cluster. So Nginx class. And so we need HTTPS access. So we're gonna put the name HTTPS, the protocol, we're gonna put HTTPS and the port is 443. So now we have to add the host name, we put host name here and just copy the host name that they put you in the exam. Okay, copy, paste. And this is the most important configuration. So we have to maintain the existing TLS and listener configuration from the existing ingress resource named web. So basically this is the resource that we saw before. And we just put TLS, the mode gonna be terminate. Okay, so now we're gonna put certificate reps. So we're gonna use certificate reps to bind this existing secret that we have in the cluster. So let's put hyphen kind, this will be secret the type and the name of the secret that we have is web CLS. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for the gateway API. Let's verify the ingress information doing K describe ingress. Okay, as you can see web TLS here okay so all this information we're gonna need it to create the http route okay so we go back and save this and let's apply this YAML file okay so now that is created let's verify it using k get gateway so as you can see here web gateway is created so now we're gonna clear the screen and proceed to create the http route so same thing, we go to the Kubernetes doc page and scroll down and just copy this HTTP route. So basically this stands for a specific rules for mapping traffic from a gateway listener that we created to a representation of a backend network endpoint. So the backend will be the service. 
Okay, so the name, I'm gonna put web route. And the pattern refs is gonna be the gateway API that we just created. So it's web gateway. The host name, we're gonna copy the same host name as we did before. So let's copy this and paste it. Okay, so let's configure the path. As we saw before in the ingress, when we describe it, the value is path, um, is a slash. So let's verify the service that we have. So web service, okay. And we got the port here, number 80. So that's what we're gonna put in the HTTP route. Name of the backend is web service and the port is 80. Okay, we don't have to specify the protocol here. So let's proceed and apply this YAML file. Okay, now that we have everything created, let's verify this using k get gateway comma HTTP route. So as you can see here, we have the gateway and the HTTP route and the class nginx class. Okay, so let's go ahead and describe this. I'm gonna describe both. So the first one will be the gateway, as you can see, web gateway here, and we have the allow routes, the gateway class. We got the names here, the port, and the host names, the certificate refs. So it's bound to the secret. And let's verify this using k describe secret web TLS. Okay, so this is a secret. As you can see, it's the same thing. Web TLS. Go back, scroll down, and what else we got? So now we have the HTTP route, web route, that's the name. Let's go down, and as you can see here, we got the value that is path. And the port is 80, it's bound to the service that we have. So everything looks fine. And that will be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to comment in the comment box and like this video and subscribe. So I'm going to be posting more DevOps platforms such as AWS, Google Cloud, and Linux. So stay tuned and don't forget to turn on the notifications.